viewers, wherever you are, hello and welcome to this new episode of your program, Spectra. We are made of what we eat. And actually, food is much more than something necessary to keep us alive. And definitely, it's not only something to enjoy eating, to enjoy the taste, the texture, and the aroma. It is much more than that. As food can play a very important role in boosting our physical energy and also in draining it. On the other hand, it can also play a very important role in increasing our psychological energy, giving us positive vibes, and unfortunately, it can do the opposite. When the corona or COVID-19 pandemic hit the world, the importance of knowing the effects of food is supreme and much important than any other time. Tonight, we'll delve more into the crypts of food. How can they boost our energy? What are the negative effects of food? And much more. To talk about this topic, I'm really delighted to be accompanied tonight from Lebanon, with Amani Katan, the wellness coach. Amani, hello and welcome to the program. So uh, to start off, um, Amani, like, um, can food really play an important role in boosting our physical energy and draining it? Because, you know, uh, with the COVID-19, most people are doing things online. Um, people started to become like what we might call couch potatoes. So they just, you know, like lay back and uh, just watching TV. Exactly. Like, exactly, like typing things on the computer, very little physical energy. Uh, to what extent can food, um, you know, help or be uh, an energy booster? And in what ways, again, can food or the diet we're following drain our energy. Okay, Mohammed. What we have, uh, what we need to know is that uh, food is the energy of our body. Okay, uh, what we put in our uh, in our body will, will make us better, or will make us healthier, or make us sick, or uh, with no physical. Uh, we can't do anything. So being in a healthy lifestyle is very important. Uh, when, we, when we eat bad food, Muhammad, when we eat uh, exactly a lot of sugar, when we eat a lot of caffeine or we drink a lot of caffeine, this will uh, decrease our energy, okay? So uh, when we have to choose our meal, Muhammad, we have to know uh, the macronutrients that, we, uh, that our meals should contain. So our meals should contain protein, should contain carbohydrates, and should contain fat. So if my meal is missing one of those three nutrients, I will feel myself uh, uh, low uh, in a low energy. Protein is responsible about building my uh, body, okay? Mil building my mass. Uh, the carbohydrates is the uh, essential for energy. It is what gives me a lot of energy daily. So if I'm not taking the, uh, uh, the daily intake or the, the, the responsible dosage of energy or of carbohydrates, I will not feel uh, energetic. Okay? I have the good carbs and the bad carbs. Okay, we need to take our carbs or the daily intake of carbs from good carbs, not for bad carbs, from bad carbs. Good carbs are like black beans, fruit, vegetables, uh, quinoa, oats, uh, sweet potatoes. Those are the resources for good carbs. Okay, we shouldn't take our carbs from uh, soda, uh, white bread, uh, fast food, rice, ice cream, or something like this. So, um, basically, what people would usually think that when they think of um, energy supply, like what kind of food can, can supply us with energy and boost our energy, uh, their minds will go to three kinds of food. So um, fats, carbohydrates, and uh, sugar. 
And uh, most people would believe that if you, you know, add sugar to your food, this will give you more calories and thereby more energy. This is how people would think. Um, so can you, can you please um, okay. tell us the difference between Look, fats, carbohydrates, and sugars? Calories, calories, of course, can give us energy. That's right. But we need to know from where we are getting our calories, okay? So I can get calories from bad sources and from good sources. So I can bring a, a plate of fruits that contains, uh, for example, 100 calories, and in the same time, uh, one plate of uh, chips or potatoes or, uh, I don't know, bad food that contains the same calories. So I can get my calories from the good resources, not from the bad resources. Okay, not from uh, sugar or, uh, or chocolate or something like this. So what will be the difference here? So I'm eating 100, like the equivalent of 100 calories of fruits or vegetables what people might call smart food and uh, yeah. you know eating 100 calories of fats sugars or carbohydrates which are like i would i wouldn't go as far as say like stupid food but like less smart food uh what yeah, will yeah. be the effect on my body um when i eat this or that First, when I, I will eat bad food or junk food, okay, the doctors say it as a junk food. Uh, first of all, of all, I will gain, I, I will give my body uh, a bad shape. This is exactly a bad shape, uh, a bad health, uh, a lot of bad fat. You know, you know that fat is responsible about our shape. When, uh, when, the, when the fat is, is high in our body, more than 20% in our bodies, I will gain a bad shape. I will have a bad shape in my body. This is what a bad, cal bad calories will cause for us, okay? And it might also cause for, uh, a, a, a lower in energy, a low energy. Okay, and um, if we want to compare fats, carbohydrates, and sugars, um, what is the difference between uh, the three? So again, uh, I understood now the difference between eating, let's say, 100 calories and the equivalent number of calories uh, from good food, smart food, and junk food. Now, uh, if we consume 100 calories of fats, carbohydrates, and sugars, is there a preference? Like if I need to choose one of them, Fats, carbohydrates, or sugars for energy, or uh, yeah. saying for for gaining a lot of uh, for gaining energy per day. Exactly. Which one is better? Okay. The carbohydrates. It will give me the needed energy per day. But as I said before, I need to choose the right source for carbohydrates from the, the good resources, not the bad resources. Okay, so be it like a uh, whole wheat bread, for example, or like, you know, not, not white bread, uh, things like that. Is that what you're referring to? Like, you know, right, both, right, both right. sources of carbohydrates, but one is a good source, one is a smart source. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, one that's is, right. Not, is not a smart that's source. That's right. So carbohydrates, following car because, you know, uh, we see a lot in uh, like professional sports players uh, usually they would resort to sometimes, you know, uh, sweet fruits or like, you know, sweet dried fruits. So for instance, you see like tennis players uh, during yeah. breaks, they would eat, you know, like little, um, you know, fruits. sweet and yeah. dried fruits. Yeah, to give them more energy. Exactly. So um, right. isn't that sugar as well? Fruits, fruits is a contained sugar, yeah, but it's not bad sugar. It's not like uh, the white sugar that we eat. Mm -hmm. The sugar in, in fruits is a uh, natural sugar, as we say, mm -hmm. okay? It does not uh, hurt our body like the, uh, the, uh, the white sugar. And how about fats? Uh, do they supply us with energy or not? They supply us with energy, but not like carbohydrates, not as uh, the percentage of the carbohydrates. We should know, uh, we should know something about uh, fats. First of all, uh, uh, according to man's 
the percentage of fat should be between 8 to 12 percent. Okay, uh, women should, should not take more than a 20 percent of, uh, uh, of fat. Okay, and uh, in the same time, uh, the percentage of fat should not be less. Okay, because if I am a woman and uh, the percentage of fat is, uh, let's say, uh, 15%, okay, my body will not be able to absorb the uh, vitamins and minerals that my body needs. Okay, so fats would be necessary for our bodies to absorb sure. the sure. vitamins, sure. different kinds of food. Yeah. Um, how about the keto diet, for example? Like it's it's a very uh, popular diet today, and um, so um, like a lot of people would go on on a protein diet, and, or or like again a fat diet. So they would eat a yeah. lot of yeah. fat, uh, but no carbohydrates. So they would refrain from eating any carbohydrates. So I'd eat cheese, but no bread, for instance. Um, how effective is that? Is that a healthy diet? body needs a lot of things it needs carbs it needs proteins it needs carbohydrates so i cannot assume i cannot make a, a something or a, a diet for myself with uh, one thing or uh, uh, giving my body just protein or giving my body just carbohydrates or giving my body fats no my body needs a lot of things need those three uh, nutrients it needs carbs, it needs uh, fat, and it needs uh, protein. So I cannot assume that my body just needs one of those. It needs all of them. Will there be a long-term effect? Like, let's say somebody would, uh, would hear you now and they would say, okay, you know, I'm on this keto diet or in this uh, protein diet or fat diet. Just, uh, you know, reduce my uh, weight just to lose weight. And once I lose weight, I'll return back to the normal diet. Uh, they might, yeah, they might lose weight. Maybe, yeah, they will lose weight, but they will lose a lot of things with, with their weight. Okay. Okay. So, um, you know, we talked about um, energy boosters. So basically you would prefer carbohydrates over uh, sugars or, um, and if we, want sugars, we should take it from natural sources like fruits, for instance, That's uh, but, but not the white sugar granules. And um, we um, like fats are important too, but within a specific ratio or percentage within, within a limit. So fats are important for the absorbance of vitamins and so on, but within limits. Um, okay. Now, these are the um, energy boosters for um, our like uh, physical energy. Uh, how about the energy drainers? Are there some things that can drain our energy, some kinds of food that would drain our energy? Okay. Uh, the persons, are, there are a lot of people, and you know that a lot of people are living on fast food. You know, you know how much fast food is, uh, is very, can really damage our health, can really damage our body, physically, mentally, and everywhere. You know, uh, try it on yourself. Try to eat fast food for a week. Okay, just a week, every day, eat fast food. You will find yourself at the day seven very stressful. You will find yourself that, that you are very stressful and you don't know what to do. Yeah, so we'll, 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 get, food, we'll get to the psychological effects uh, of food in you know, okay. uh, in the next question here. But what I want you please to kindly uh, emphasize is the how can, can food drain our physical energy? Would fast food also drain our physical okay. energy? Okay, let me, uh, let me tell you something. What we need to know is that uh, I need to eat minimum every day five meals. So uh, to be able to uh, to keep my day or to continue my day uh, uh, like uh, at 12, uh, 12 p.m. I'm uh, I, I can't wake up. I can't do anything. Why? This is because of uh, I don't eat five meals per day. So eating five meals per day, Muhammad, will, uh, will keep me energetic. So uh, to practice our body to eat five meals per day every day every day we should eat five meals per day unless our body will not be able to help us to continue people that does not take their breakfast uh they will reach up uh, uh the noon uh with no energy 
course, because breakfast is the basic uh, meal of our days. I have to start my day with a healthy breakfast, with a, a breakfast full of vitamins and minerals that my body needs. Uh, I can uh, keep up the day with uh, another snack, another snack, maybe for lunch and snack after lunch, of course. That's how my body uh, will be uh, energetical, will be able to continue the day. So uh, when you're talking about five meals here, so uh, you're talking about breakfast? Breakfast. Then a snack. Then a snack. Every three hours. I okay, so would it, would it be like breakfast, snack, lunch? Breakfast, uh, snack, lunch. Snack, dinner, and... Um, yeah. Yeah. Or... Um, I did it depends, it depends how many hours uh, when I get uh, I go to sleep. But if I wake up at 7 a.m. and I go to sleep at uh, 10 p.m., I have to make sure that I take my breakfast at 7. I, uh, I take uh, another snack uh, seven, uh, at 10. Every three hours, I need to take a meal every three single hours. And when we're talking here about the meal... Um, two very important questions. Um, what is the latest time for the meal? Like before I retire, before I go to bed? Um, uh, how should seven, I? Seven, seven, uh, from, uh, from four to seven p.m. No, I mean like how many hours before I go to bed, regardless of what time do I go to bed? How many uh, hours before going to bed should be my last meal? Three hours. Three I'm hours saying, to work, yeah, to I, I can take uh, I can take uh, a meal before three hours. If I can, I might drink something before going to bed. Yeah, but I shouldn't take a, a big meal before going to bed. And so, for the breakfast, for the snack, for the lunch, for the snack and the dinner, must all five meals contain all kind? Of, yeah. So, like macronutrients. Yeah, yeah, all kinds of nutrients. And, so, and, and, and portions, of course, in, in specific portions. Okay, so it must, it must have like, you know, uh, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, everything. So it must yeah. have grains, fruits, vegetables, etc., etc. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, the perfect uh, timing for breakfast, I didn't say it. The perfect timing for breakfast is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. I shouldn't stay after 10 a.m. without taking my breakfast. It's very bad for my body and for my health. So I have to make sure to take my breakfast from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, okay, um, a very popular thing, again, is intermittent fasting. Um, this is something yeah. that is becoming more popular by the day. Um, how effective is intermittent fasting yeah. for, uh, for losing weight? And you also can. For, for a daily, like some people would do this forever, actually. They, mm -hmm. they have intermittent fasting um, you know, like all yeah. it will lead for starving. Year. Starvation. So their body will uh, complain to uh, to this. They will get to uh, to starvation. Really, they will not eat anymore. So basically, uh, like the the main drainers of energy would be, um, or the main reason for you know. Uh, you losing your physical energy would be um, either you, you eat um, a diet that's not balanced. So uh, like uh, you eat too yeah. much, for example, carbohydrates or too much pr um, fats or too much sugars. You don't eat a balanced diet. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we need a balanced diet. That's, that's right. the first thing. The second thing is, like you said, junk food. So junk that's food, right. processed, you know, all sorts of processed food. All these things are not good for our um, health, uh, both on the long right. and the short term. Okay, now if we move to talk about um, psychological energy boosters, like, you know, um, because now with COVID, a lot of people um, have entered a state of depression. Um, so what kinds of food can, you know, boost our... Um, psychological well-being and what kinds of food can, can drain that or reduce our psychological well-being? 
Uh, as I told you before, Muhammad, uh, try to eat uh, fast food for a week, for example, and you will find yourselves at the day seven very stressed. So fast food will really, really uh, make us very stressed because uh, you, will, you are giving your body bad fat, a lot of calories, uh, chemicals, chemicals. You know what chemicals can do to our body? You know, every junk food or bad food or... Uh, it's, it's, it contains very a uh, lot of chemicals. So those chemicals can really damage our body, can really damage our health, can really affect our stress. Okay, uh, you know stress today, Muhammad, is uh, is very popular. You can't. Uh, there are a lot of stress in our days. A lot of stressful people. They cannot manage their stress. But being in a healthy lifestyle, we always get back. We always get back, Hamad, to being in a healthy lifestyle. To eating good food. To eating five meals per day. To giving your body what it does really need. Okay, my body needs a lot of vitamins, minerals, uh, B6, B12, uh, B9. A lot of things that uh, will really affect our stress. So I have to, to be in a healthy lifestyle, Muhammad. I need to eat good food. I need to eat five meals and uh, stay away from fast food. Stay away from a lot of sugar. Of course, sugar also can really affect stress, mm -hmm. especially uh, on uh, babies, you know, and uh, not big ones, okay? So babies who eat a lot of sugar, you can find them very stressful. They yell. Uh, they... And how about soda, like caffeine as well, like things? Um, um... Uh, caffeine, caffeine, Hamad, can improve your, uh, your mood for a while, for a while. But uh, uh, taking a lot of caffeine uh, per day or per week can affect your stress, can lower down your sugar uh, level, your blood sugar level, and affect your stress. It can okay. increase your stress. Okay, so um, these these are the kind. So basically, uh, if we eat a balanced diet, it will not only boost our physical energy, but it will boost our psychological energy too. So of they sort of go hand in hand, really. What works here would work there, and what's negative here is also negative there for both the uh, physical and the psychological uh, sorts of energy. Of course. Of course. Uh, now we talked about the kinds of like, you know, balanced diet and diets and so on, but uh, how about the portions? So how big should the portion be? And when we talk about a snack, so how small is a snack and how big is a main meal? Like um, if we are talking about, so for an adult, um, should it be like an average plate size? Should it be a small plate? Should it be like multiple Bench. plates? Like what, what is the portion? Because Look, the portion is a very when, important question too. Yeah, of course, of course. We, uh, when we eat five meals per day, we, should, we, uh, we need to make sure that we eat small portions, not big portions. Not, we need to eat minimum portions, not big portions, okay? Because, uh, look, uh, according to, to studies, when I eat more than 35 grams of protein uh, per my meal, for example, it all goes to be a bad fat. It go, uh, transformed to fat. So eating a lot uh, more than the portion that I really need uh, will will go wrong. So I need to eat small portions every single meal. And I, I need to say something here. We need to eat slowly. Don't eat. Uh, don't hurry up in your uh, in your eating. So you need eating. to chew and masticate your food. Take take time. Yeah, yeah. Take time. How, how about water? Like um, how much? Like, how important is water in our daily diet? Water is very, very important. As, uh, as a man, um, Hamad, a man should take at least 3.7 liters of water per day. At least. Okay? Women's less uh, to 2.5 liters per day. But water is very, very important. We need to, to be hydrated. Okay? The water is responsible for our hydration. If we do not take water, uh, our body will, will get so uh, unhealthy. 
And so dehydration would be a very negative thing for our bodies. So, um, and of course. Would, um, drinking enough water, would it help again in uh, keeping our like weight balanced as well? So if you want to maintain a healthy... The question. So again, the question was like, would, if we drink enough water, would this help us keep a balanced weight? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Of course. You need to take the required uh, uh, amount of money, uh, of, <laughs> of water daily, uh, to be able to uh, lose weight, of course. Okay, now uh, some people might ask this question. Okay, um, I'm listening to you. I understand that you're saying that uh, we shouldn't eat big portions, but some people are just big eaters. So they tell you, I want to eat a lot. So what if like the plate is finished? So have one plate of that includes proteins, you know, like fats, carbohydrates, etc., etc. The plate is finished. If I want to refill my plate, if I've tried every trick in the book and nothing is working, I need to eat more. What kind of things should I refill my plate with? Should it be the same or should it be like the, the second <laughs> fill should be like more fruits, more, um, uh, you know, like uh, vegetables, more proteins? What should be the best option for a refill if it's really necessary? Maybe water, Mohammed. <laughs> water, okay. <laughs> look, uh, look, look. Uh, people that have this problem uh, are usually uh, eat. Uh, I think they eat one uh, meal per day. I guess. Okay, the, uh, those people who really wants to eat uh, big portions of food, big amount of food, they eat once per day. Okay, they wake up, they go to work, they come, they want to eat a big, big, big amount of uh, uh, food. This is what really happened. But when I uh, get away from those bad habits and create for myself new habits, Muhammad, from being uh, from starting by taking my breakfast and eating a meal every three hours, I will not need a big portion of food. Okay, so uh, more meals help in that. So it's it's not yeah, but like five balanced diets instead of uh like you That's know getting right. a huge That's amount right. of, of of food because uh like you're saying when you when you eat just one meal at the end of the day you're really famished you know you're you're starving and uh you can, food. you can eat a horse really so uh you just <laughs> fill your mouth with everything and uh That's right what is the right time for shopping for food? Is it when you're hungry? Can you shop when you're hungry? Is that a good thing to do, to go shopping for food while you're hungry? You, uh, you might uh, grab everything, you see. Okay, so it's better to like, not go to an empty stomach because the yeah, yeah. But, might be uh, here. But yeah, while while shopping, Muhammad, what we what we need to do is to uh, look carefully for the nutrients and everything we buy. Okay, we need to look. We need to learn to look uh, what are the nutrients in uh, in the food that we are buying. So, um, in average, like uh, what is the um, you know, daily consumption of calories for men and women. So like how many calories should I eat per day in order to maintain my weight as a man and as a woman in average? As a woman, 100, uh, I guess between 150 and, uh, sorry, 1,050 1, and 2,000 calories. Uh, for men, of course, uh, more than uh, from uh, 2000 to uh, 2050 calories per day. Okay. Yeah. A lot of parents have this idea in their minds. They say that, um, um, you know, like children are growing up, even when they hit puberty, they're still growing up. So they can just eat whatever. Um, is that a correct thing? As, as long as the child is growing, they can just eat whatever? to teach him uh, good habits about health about food 
Okay, eating everything is very bad. Is very bad. Absolutely. This will create bad habits. Uh, they will cannot. They will not be able to uh, get out of it. Absolutely. And um, last but never least, uh, what would be your advice if you want to give a general advice to our viewers today? Okay, I have several advices for today, uh, Muhammad. First of all, uh, be in a healthy lifestyle, guys. Get uh, red, uh, Take off your bad habits by creating new good habits for yourself. If you don't take your breakfast, eat your breakfast daily because it's very important to take your breakfast. Eat every three hours a meal, uh, a small portion, of course, with a small portion. Uh, take uh, at least five meal, meals per day if you want to lose weight. You know, eating three every three hours, Muhammad, will help to decrease your uh, fat level. It will help you to decrease. If you want to lose fat, eat every three hours. It will help you a lot. Uh, take uh, uh, your meals with three macronutrients. Take your protein, take your carbohydrates, take your fats every day with the needed portions you need. Uh, you have to take. And stay away, of course. Stay away from, uh, from fast food, from sugar, from a lot of caffeine. Okay, um, I really can't thank you enough, uh, Amani Khatan, who is joining us from Lebanon. And uh, thank you for staying up late uh, tonight. And um, our dear viewers, um, you know, uh, just like uh, Amani said here, um, it's a balanced diet. So uh, when people would say that, you know, like, uh, dark meat versus, uh, you know, like white meat or like um, fats versus uh, carbohydrates, fruits and, and vegetables. It is basically the problem is the portions, how much you eat of, you know, um, every kind of food. So if we preserve and keep a balanced diet, there should never be a problem. You know, your, your levels of sugar, like skyrocket, or your levels of, you know, cholesterol, fats, really go up high because you're not eating a balanced diet. If you eat proper portions of everything, your numbers will always be in the safe area. So uh, watching for our diet, again, is not only very important to preserve and maintain a good weight, but if you uh, are in good shape physically, you'll also be in very good shape mentally. So uh, let's enjoy our food, you know, but let's keep it balanced and um, eat more than one meal per day and make them five. So um, this is very, very important to keep in mind, especially during these hard times. Dear viewers, thank you very much for joining us. And um, until we meet again, I hope everyone leads a very healthy and prosperous life. Take care. See you next time.